Hello everyone and welcome back to My Life Deliberately. I recently received a firmware update for the power lift from Epic Saw. It's uh, version 3.120. And uh, this version has uh, adds four more presets to each one of the modes, the absolute mode, the big bump mode, and the bump mode. And that, that gives us a total of eight presets. The um, presets come in handy if you cut uh, consistently cut certain types of lumber Say you uh, cut a lot of two by fours and a lot of two by sixes. Well, you can set one of the presets to uh, one and a half inches, and you could set uh, another one to uh, three and a half inches for the two by fours, and another one to five and a half inches for the two by sixes. Anyway, so with this update, we get a total of um, eight presets for each one of those modes. And then uh, another interesting thing it does is it uh, comes with an interface. Uh, that you can use on your iPad or your iPhone to actually control the power lift and set those uh, bump settings with the uh, the, the uh, iPad or uh, tablet for the Androids. It works both with iPhones and uh, iPhones, iPads, uh, Android phones, and, and Android tablets. So let's go ahead and go through the steps to do an upgrade, and we'll upgrade uh, my power lift, which I think is uh, 3.14, um, and we'll upgrade it to 3.120. And, uh, or maybe it's uh, actually it's 3.114, I believe is what it is now. Anyway, we'll go ahead and do that, upgrade to 3.120, and then we'll uh, open it up with the, uh, we'll take a look at the presets, and then we'll uh, open it up with the iPad that I have, and we'll see how that works. So uh, let's go ahead and start this upgrade. So the first thing you want to do, um, if, um, if, especially if you're like me, my, I'm out here remotely, and so I don't have a Wi-Fi connection out here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the firmware update from Epic Saw, and the email that you received um, will look similar to this one here that, I, that I'm showing on the screen, and it'll have a link to download that. So you want to do that before you leave your Wi-Fi network. And so I've done that already, and uh, now I'm out here at the mill. And so uh, what I need to do is start the uh, power lift in the uh, upgrade mode and the firmware update mode. And I, you do that by holding down the mode button and turning the power on. So let me do that. And it'll come up and the screen will say, um, power lift updating, update, power lift version 3.114. So that's the version I currently have. And then it gives the IP address of the uh, power lift. So, so the next thing you want to do is go into your phone's um, internet connection and go to the Wi-Fi, and you should find uh, the power lift there. Connect to the power lift, and then you want to go to a, um, a browser. Since I'm on the iPhone, I'm going to use Safari, and um, I'm going to put in the IP address that you see on the screen here, 172.0.0.1, and then press go. And then you'll be presented with a screen that gives you some information in your current uh, um, settings and your current firmware. And then there's a, a little thing that says firmware update, a little button. So press that. Um, and then uh, it says choose file. And you should see uh, the file below that you uh, downloaded. If you don't, click on choose file. So in your downloads, you'll see the PowerLift version 3-3120 uh, bin, and you want to get that file, and then it'll immediately start doing the, uh, the upgrade, and then it'll say to 100%, and then it'll show uh, OTA success, and then your, your PowerLift will automatically reboot and come back up, and at that point, you should be in uh, your new version. So to test that, we'll turn the PowerLift off, and then we'll restart it, and it comes up 3.120, so we're, we're good. The first thing you want to do to operate your mill and the power lift with your iPad is to go into your uh, Wi-Fi settings and connect to the power lift. You'll see this uh, network available once you turn your power lift on. So turn your power lift on first, then come into your network settings and choose the network power lift. Once it's connected, you can go to Safari in the iPad, a browser in the Android, I, I assume, and uh, you'll be presented with the lift screen. And uh, everything here matches what's on the uh, 
the power lift itself. And you can see you've got an up and a down button. So if we as we press and hold the up button, the power lift will go up. If we let go, it power lift uh, stops. We push the down button, the power lift goes down. And the stop button, I assume, would stop its movement, but that's more applicable to bump mode and big bump mode and so forth. So um, you can see we have the lift mode, the bump mode, big bump mode, and the absolute mode. So if we go to bump mode, we'll see we're presented with the eight presets that came with um, the upgrade, um, the firmware update. Instead of so now instead of four we have we have eight, and uh, if we go to um, like we're we're like if we just touch one of them then we're highlighting on that one right, and um, so in the bump mode if I do the if I'm or here I'm I'm uh, pre-selected D1, and if I push the up, the uh, power lift is below zero so um, it's going to go to zero. Um, because that's that's what it does. The functionality is exactly the same as it is on the um, the power lift itself. So if I go up, it's going to go up, and now it's at zero. And uh, if I go down, it'll it'll go down one inch. And it's going to do the slack compensation, like it always does. There it goes back up again. There we go. And uh, to change the, the presets, we've got like a little pad there with a pencil. So you, if you like uh, on B2 here, it's set for 0 0.750. So if I were to touch that, I could, uh, you see it brings up a little box with my keypad. And it shows that it's 0 0.075. Okay, 1.25. And save that. There we go. And then uh, you'll see that it's 1.25, and on the power lift, if uh, we go to B2, it is also set for 1.25. So um, it's just as easy to do that. And uh, so setting numbers, especially if the numbers are bigger than the, the current setting, you know, doing it on the iPad is very, very much easier. And um, we also have the big bump mode. Um, it works exactly the same way. And then we also have the absolute mode which measures from the bottom using that sensor that came with version three of the power lift. So um, I'm gonna play around with this. So you can see there's a lot of functionality here. Uh, pretty much anything that you can do on the, um, on the um, power lift itself on the screen with the buttons you can do here with the iPad. So that's how you use your iPad to control the uh, power lift and that's how you do a firmware update. Um, the, um, the this could come in very handy once we have the power feed set up. Um, doing this with uh, without the power feed, I'd have to I could set things here. It is a little bit faster than going to all your presets and trying to set the numbers up in here uh, because it's it's quick to just bring that up and do that. So it could be handy for that. Um, if I had a sawmill shed and a place to set this, and I had the power feed on. Yeah, it might be nice to be able to just walk around the mill and push buttons on here and have the mill just automatically go forward through the wood and uh, cut the uh, raise the heights and stuff like that so I can see where this this would be very cool and very handy but it's a nice feature that uh, Epic Soft put in here for us and uh, let me know what you guys think uh, give it a try those of you who have power lifts uh, get out your iPad or your tablet and give this a try and see how it works and uh, leave me a comment let me know what you guys think and how you guys think uh, you might use it and if you don't have a power lift but um, you have an opinion on how you might use something like this, uh, let me know. I'd be interested to hear what you got to say. So uh, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.